Hey y'all, what's going on? Hopefully my mouth is gone with me. I know I have not been in and if I'm looking willy nilly, y'all I had somewhat of a night. Now that's a whole nother video and I will be back with that one and y'all won't want to miss it. Yeah, I told y'all I was going to this function and I'm... Did I mention it? I think I did. Y'all know whenever the wolf is involved or if the wolf is going to be involved. Yeah. Anyway, so... Just coming in to say, hey, how y'all doing? Um, I'm still in the land of the living. I had a couple of people come on my page and say, I haven't seen you. I hope you're all right. I'm all right. Same old, same old. Um, tomorrow I'm going to have a report put in in the morning. So a little minor, a little teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny surgery. Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go in hoping and believing that everything's going to be all right. And it ain't even about hoping and believing. I'm already claiming it, honey, so it's done. I can just thank him for that. Um, what is going on? Um, so I'm, I'm doing that, so y'all kind of bear with me. I feel the need to come on here because I feel upset about um, redeeming love in the book. I have got to get back on blog. I pray that y'all reading the book. I'm reading it. Because even though I'm not on here, you know what I'm saying, off his days that I'm in the bed or whatever the case may be, because I've had quite a few of those days where I just haven't really been able to, you know, uh, do videos, you know, get out of bed, whatever the case may be, um, you know, sporadically here and there. And y'all kind of bear with me because, you know, it's just, it'll be all right, but you know, just it happens, shit, life happens, shit, you know what I mean? So... Bear would be on that. With that being said, I haven't gave you all. I don't think I've. Well, have I gave y'all an update? No. I'll give y'all an update on that on another video. Um. Well, let me just say this. Because I want to get this out of the way. Because I don't want anybody to run into this. So. I got a thing here on YouTube. Now, y'all know the little hacker shit. That they try to do and they say, hello mate, I see that your video is so and so, you have great videos, you should try to go over here and so you can have your video spotlight and they give you a link and you go to it and you got a damn, you know what I'm saying, some damn virus or key log or whatever. With that being said, y'all please be aware, uh, being here on the YouTube and especially those who are getting, know who you're dealing with when you're getting things like, um, you know, just just be aware, y'all. Let me just say that. Just be aware. You know, do your research on the people like who you outsourcing to as far as like things like your background and this type of thing. Now, with that being said, let me tell y'all that RM uh, Designs was, you know what I'm saying, 100% legit on the up and up. And uh uh, video, I mean, uh, intro champ and that type of thing on the up and up. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm saying right now, and I don't want y'all to think, well, oh, can we deal with them? No, I think they happen to be two of the most reputable people here on the YouTube that I know of that are doing things like backgrounds and intros, you know what I'm saying? Just on the up and up. That you're not going to ever have a problem with them. Um, you know what I'm saying? So those two, I just kind of, and, and let me just make a suggestion. If anybody's thinking about having a background or getting an intro or whatever, please look into RM Designs. I'm sure I'm saying, is it RD? RM Designs, which I did do a video on, and he did my background and that type of thing. And the intro champ here on the YouTube. I've seen quite a few intros that he's done, and from everybody that I've seen, they've had nothing but great things to say about both you know, of these uh, gentlemen. So if you look and definitely look that way. With that being said, now I will say what I got to say. It's quite a, peop quite a bit of people on here on YouTube that are doing backgrounds and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Intros and shit like that. And more than half of them are keyloggers and hackers and shit like that. Because you got a lot of people on here like with me, for instance. Yeah, I'm not savvy when it comes down to that shit. So if somebody does it for me, I need them to go in and put it on my page for me. You know what I'm saying? And even if there's an extra charge or whatever, it's just a matter of I have them to do that. Then I go and change my password because I don't know how to position and put it and what you got to put in or whatever the case may be. And with that being said, y'all, let me mention somebody else. T 
Tish's inbox. Y'all check her out too. She's reputable too, and she's kind of getting into it and on the up and up. So those are my three. Anyway, but it's quite a few here on the YouTube doing that bull. You know, you get a background, this and that and other. Oh, you don't know how to put it up? Oh, I'll put it up for you. Uh, I'll do it for $5. Nothing, girl. Let me do it. I'll do it. But really, in the end, it's going to end up costing you all your information, possibly your um, credit and all kinds of shit, your computer and this type of thing. So y'all be skeptical. Know that it is as many good people as it is on YouTube. It's as many that are, you know, predators or whatever the case may be, you know. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I received a, and I'm going to post it below because I want y'all to see who this person is. And they change their name up all the time, so don't think, oh, well, it didn't come from them, so I'm not going to click on it. Damn it, if it look anything like this one I'm going to post down here, don't click on it. With that being said, excuse me, y'all, I'm, I'm just a little, y'all much love, had a couple of few drinks last night. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh, anyway, with that being said, now that I said that, it's like, y'all will see when you look at it that this person has sent this thing out to multiple people in the bottom and has the, the, the uh, usernames of who he sent it to. Now, that brings me to this damn friend issue shit. And I think I've talked about this shit before, but I'm going to tell y'all something. If somebody's not subscribed to me or whatever the case may be, I'm not trying to accept no motherfucking friend invite. Because just like you click that shit to be my friend, you could have subscribed or whatever. Nine times out of ten, it's some kind of model, singer, rapper, this and that and other trying to get their shit out there. Now, I'm not begrudging you that shit. But you are not going to spam my shit and be sending me stuff. You know what I'm saying? A whole list of people. You know, now y'all, let's see who this is on Skype. Uh, let's see who it is. Who is it? Oh, it's Miss Her Trends for you. Um, you know, and it's like, um, they have a host of people that they send it to. Y'all be careful with this friend shit. And y'all let me know below if y'all been getting this bogus ass shit from models and people that's rapping. This, now, I ain't no motherfucking talent scout, scout or whatever. The fuck. Quit sending me that shit. You know, stop accepting everybody's friend requests. Because once you befriend them, if you got that shit on there where they can't send you a message unless they your friend, that's the reason why they send you that friend shit. Now you ain't good enough for them to subscribe, but they want you to you want they want you to support their shit. To my draws, honey. That's it. You know, that's what that is. Um, don't do that. Watch out for all these damn friend requests and shit. What the hell is that about? You know, so anyway, and I know this was kind of all over the map, but I just want to kind of touch on all of that because I just been kind of noticing this, and then I got hit with this one, and not only did I get hit with this one, and I didn't get the virus or whatever they sent it, because it's some bullshit. Um it was like three different ones that came in regards to this. You know, kind of on the same lines. Now, it's not telling you to go to this site, but but, excuse me, y'all, I'm reading, but, I'm sorry. She, I mean, That is her trends for you. Y'all hit me on Skype. And that's why I said she. Um, yeah. Let me think. Was that a brain fart? And is that at all possible? What was I saying? Oh, it was three of them. And they all said the same thing, but except they were from different people. You know from different names, you know what I'm saying? And like if you copy and paste that shit and go to that site, that's the virus, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people on YouTube doing this, a lot of damn people on Facebook doing it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all y'all check that out. If y'all seen anything in your box that looks like this, please do not copy and paste it. Delete it. Block that person and delete it. And it, just as soon as you block them, they come up with different names. It's like they're a group and they just send it. I mean, you know, and, and, and with that being said, get a motherfucking life. 
Why are you trying to turn on people's computers? Why are you hacking into people's shit? Why are you getting in people's business? Find you something the hell has to do. That's all you got to do? Now that's just addressing the assholes who just do it random. Now the ones that do key loggers and shit, these are just army motherfuckers that are just trying to get your information, trying to use your credit card, and this and that and other. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I, I just don't get it, but I wanted to tell y'all that and share that with y'all. I will probably be back in here. I, I'm, I'm going to try to come back in here late on tomorrow because I'll probably be groggy or whatever if I can. But y'all know, y'all do me a favor, say a prayer for me um, and all of that. And, um, you know, much love going to get back to much love. I don't mean much love regardless, but, you know, y'all say a prayer for me and uh, all of that. And I'll be back. I'll be back, but y'all check it out. Look at that, um, the thing that I'm going to put below, which is the actual PM that I received. And just, you know, if you see anything like this, don't click on that. If you see something saying, check this site out if you want your video spotlighted, don't click on it. You know what I'm saying? And let me just say this real quick because I have had my PM and my email loaded with this Eddie excuse me, I'm sorry y'all, with this Eddie Long and past and stuff, and I thought I kind of spoke on it for a brief moment, but I'm going to say this, here's my whole thing, it's not my job to judge him first, um, but I did say that I do believe he done it, now I do believe that he needs to come out and come clean, and then now we can go, he can go on to the, you know, the healing process for the congregation. I think that his congregation needs to stick by him and stay by him and exercise exactly what that Bible says, forgiveness. Now, he was bogus and foul for marching against, um, you know, uh, homosexual and this and that and other. And yet that's just the same, you know what I'm saying? That's your, you know, same gig you doing too, but yet you speaking out about it. But I think that his congregation needs to follow him. I agree 100% with one of my favorite loves here on the YouTube and that is Lucky 2007. I believe it's 2007 but it's Lucky. They need to stand by him but I do believe that he needs to come and just go on and say what he has to say and let it be done. Y'all as sure as I'm sitting here that man done that and I'm not trying. The reason why I say this they wouldn't go after him. He's a little too you know he's got too much clout and so they know if they going for him they better have their shit together. They got him dead to write it. Eventually, he going to come out and he going to say he did it. Forgive me. Pray for me. I was weak. Or whatever the case may be. My thing is, instead of everybody judging him and pointing fingers, when he does say that, forgive him. I better yet. I'm going to say this. I'm not in his congregation. So, he don't need my forgiveness. And with that being said, even if it is his congregation. The only forgiveness that does matter is that the Lord, his Lord and Savior forgive him. The rest of it is irrelevant. What we think, or whether we think he should be forgiven or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's easy for people to sit back and point fingers and this and that and other. Y'all, my husband just scared the shit out of me because he wasn't there. And y'all was about to see me act a damn fool and fight. Because he was not there a minute ago. And I was, yes. Why is my bra trying it? Anyway, I just believe that that is for, that's between him and his Lord, you, you know, and the Lord and the young man and this and that and other and all his pointing things or whatever. He needs to say what he needs to say if he did it and then go on to the healing process. And I pray that the congregation will re reach out to him and say, okay, you did it. We forgive you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm at with that. You know what I'm saying? So. That's why I'm at with that. And that's all I'm going to say about that, you know. And anybody who would get upset with about what I just said, you know, find something else to do to my drawers and my bra, you know, this wig, th these nails, find something else to do. I'm out of here. Much love.